Good morning, Abby. It is Monday, and uh, welcome to a little dumb thing I'm doing. So, this is called Talk to Transformer. I I don't I don't know why it's called that. It just is deal with it. So, basically, this is the thing where you can type words, and then as it says here, a neural network. Well, guess what comes next? This is like a bot that has been fed like thousands upon thousands of articles and mostly things like online so it's not gonna have great knowledge of like literary masterworks or something but uh just just to give an example let's, let's i'm just gonna type here like i want pizza and, and let's just see what happens i want pizza when it comes to christmas it's easily the most popular pan-american holiday and it brings a whole bunch of Man, who has Christmas pizza? That is not a thing that people do. <laughs> At least it's not a thing that anyone I know does. Many of which are also available in other countries, most mainly in the Italian and Portuguese, but not yet here. What makes it so fun for me is that I'm the largest fan of nachos, and if you're not, you might- Nachos are not a Christmas food. Get the frick out of here. So they still won't be taking up the mantle of nachos- <laughs> The mantle of nachos expert. <laughs> Oh god. We haven't even done the actual thing. This is already great. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to type in the titles to the songs from the Be More Chill soundtrack. And by the way, I'm going by the off-Broadway one, not the Broadway one, because Will Rowland is really good as Jared and Dear Evan Hansen, but he sucks as Jeremy, and I have disowned the Broadway version from my life. We're not talking about that. Anyway. <laughs> I, however, brief statement, I don't agree with the people who are sending him death threats, like, let Will Rowland live. Anyway, anyway, we're going to type in the titles of songs from the Be More Chill soundtrack and see what this generates. So, here we go. We're going to start with the opening song, More Than Survive. What you got? More Than Survive, every door slammed in my face, and I never could fall back in love with it. I, I don't think that's a sentence that makes sense, but alright. Many home-based journalists seem to like to say, there's nothing more fulfilling than to grow a small, small news brand that grows slowly. The market is responding, but most publications are a lousy source of long- Okay, this is boring. Are a lousy source of long-term growth and investment. If you want to be self-employed or take an alternative career, don't, don't get too fixated on headlines or statistics. Even if you follow the trends, don't let your- Okay, okay, I don't. Okay, that was boring, but it's gonna get better, guys. It's gonna, it's gonna get better. Let's try. I love play rehearsal. I love play rehearsal, and the shot was rehearsed in the weeks leading up to the first shoot at Wadi Rum in the Jordan. This is this is a movie, not a play. I don't know what a small group of the actors went through to get into those shoes. The first day we shot, everyone was like, "Oh, what are you doing? What are we doing?" <laughs> <laughs> Me too. First day of play practice. You're just like, who's standing where? What's happening? It was quite emotional, but when the lights came on, that was the reason I wanted to work with them in the first place. Producer Lisa Miles says that of the current crop of- Who's Lisa Miles? I want to know if Lisa Miles is a human. Let's find out. Lisa Miles. Oh. Well, apparently Lisa Miles is those people. But I don't, I don't think she's a producer. Alright. Let's see. Let's see them in the next song. The Squip Song. The Squip Song. Shut up, computer. Squip is totally a real word. The Squip Song Program. <laughs> this is a great opening. The Squip Song Program sucks and just want to kill all the patches. Chaos 66616. <laughs> April 6th, <laughs> pew pew, pew pew diddy, <laughs> reviewer, Neoji, favorite, 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 February 21st, 2010, subject, enthusiastic, this is one of the most chilling and smart things I have ever heard, please download, it is a must, the second verse will let you know, hint, neck, knees, walls, hint, Okay, I'm not entirely sure what all of this is, but I mean it, it was funny. So we got some we've gotten some humor finally. 
All right, next up is two player game. Two player game with at least one winner. There ain't free, finite numbered game, retroactive to 2011. Two players, pick either, pick either player one or player two. Player choose a play, players choose a playable card or no card. Two of the cards are play, played face down. One player draws one card from the top of the deck. The remaining cards are placed face down. The player then chooses to play or not play. Variant four, count game. Retro. Can someone try and like follow these instructions and make a game out of it? Because I'd be intrigued. Uh, what comes after two player game? Um, because then Jeremy and Michael go to the guy. Oh, it's the squip enters. Enters. The squip enters the portal looking like a black gray. <laughs> okay. Like a black gray cup with a capital letter. With more than three feet of the gray crossbar, mostly occupied by the cup glass shapes sink canopied base. And before this obvious consequence can be discussed, he is destroyed by the next blast of P, killing the free squip enemies in a single squirt. At the end, a very sad squip wonder perv says the following. As I entered, I had a strange feeling. It was kind of a jolt, kind of a goose. It, what? What does any of this mean? Hold on. It enters the portal, and the portal looks like a cup with a crossbar. And then there's a consequence that needs to be discussed that doesn't get discussed. And then the squip is destroyed by urine. And then, I guess, two other squip enemies are destroyed. And then... Uh, a, a, a sad squip wonder per reminisces about his dead friends. Well, uh, what a okay, okay, okay. Be more chill. I could put the part one and the part two, but I don't really feel like doing it because I kind of want to see just what this thing will come up with. with just be more chill this month. Be more chill during the summer with a print from our contemporary family here at Dezig... Dezig... Is that is that a thing that exists? Oh, it is. A clothing brand headquartered in Barcelona, Catalonia, Spain. Oh, it's a Spanish... Okay. Kind of interesting. Oh, yeah. Is it? Hmm. I'm intrigued. Okay, I learned something today. Anyway, wear this contemporary print hoodie. Why are you wearing a hoodie in the summer? On a... Why are you... Uh, to hit the beach and... Who wears a... Who wears a hoodie to the beach? What? So easy to wear. Go ahead and layer this row over whatever material you want to give your look a unique twist. Look after me. Treat with a suitable leather protector not included and avoid contact with liquids. If you drink water while wearing our uh, contemporary hoodie from the Ziggul, you will explode. Heard it here first, folks. I don't know what that was. Do you want to ride? Stop resisting. Oh, God. And now you're a pup. Oh, oh God. And something powerful has happened. It was you who moved and didn't think and did it. <laughs> It was you who moved and didn't think and did it. So can you trust this message? I mean, you did it and you weren't scared and maybe the healing has happened and the gift of riding your bike may just come to you. Okay, maybe not. But it's true. I can say it because it happened for me. Oh, yes. Yes. And as a shaman, sh a shaman, I think you might also want to send this message. Okay, once again, we've just gotten like a nonsense paragraph of text that means like nothing. Well, you know what? It's it's part of the humor. It's part of, it's part of the fun. Okay, there. Uh, I'm trying to think of the soundtrack. After that, there's a reprise of Born to Survive. We don't need to do that. Oh, uh, Christine sings a guy that I'd kind of be into. Come on, a guy that I'd kind of be into if he was playing against three people on me only to free people on him, like with Fat Man. <laughs> 
fat man's play style is always the same, but with a B2W character, he just flat out just makes you play against him. Yeah, isn't that the point of, of like, competitive multiplayer games? And I love when he's like that. That makes me want to take him on even more. He's still strong against most characters, not to mention his counter move and Dragon Ball. You're, you're, like, you're playing as someone in a video game and they're freaking Super Saiyan? I really can't wait to fight on it. What is... What is... What is... Once again, what is any of this? I don't even know how to react to it. I'm just stunned. Okay. After that, I think it goes straight to upgrade. So. Upgrade. Upgrade info. File name. C. Build safe. Unity. Build artifacts. Standalone player. Generated. Uni engine. B. A bunch of code and text and thing. Oh, all right. Okay. We're moving on. Um. Ha Halloween, which in my opinion is a very underrated song on the soundtrack. Oh. Well. I, uh, okay, okay, um, I think, do you, I think, do you want to hang is next to the soundtrack? I'm not sure. There's a lot of songs that happen at the Halloween. Oh, a woman's lips, lips, and breasts. Can I kiss them? Faucet water. So tell me, do you mind if I come in? Oh, I'm not gonna read that. I'm not gonna read that. How are you feeling? Now one thing. I'll tell you one thing. I don't need a doctor to tell me how I feel, but I've got a mirror. I got a tape in which I want you to see what you want. To you can see it inside. Okay. Porn. Great. Um. I feel, I think Michael in the bathroom is just like the next thing. I don't think there's another song. So, Michael in the bathroom. <laughs> Michael in the bathroom at random times to see if he's there. Most of these tests were inconclusive, and in one case, I found him in the water pooling around his shoes. <laughs> at least I had to clean up his mess. Is this implying that Michael, like, peed himself in the bathroom? Because... My Michael Mel deserves much more dignity than that that assumption. So I'll, I'll do since the smartphone hour has two names, I'll do both of them. So we'll have the smartphone hour and then later we'll do Rich Setifier. The smartphone hourglass continues to captivate consumers. From Google with its Chromecast, dongle, and new phones to Amazon's Fire TV, Sony, and Sharp. The choice is getting more and more varied, with ever-increasing picks and more apps to go with them. Apple's television ambitions have yet to be seen. Bloomberg New Energy Finance, a Bloomberg LP subsidiary, monitors the shift in the electric utilities and utilities and is the oldest and largest U.S. alternative energy publishing company. It publishes 15 newsletters and media offerings. Great. I don't care. Okay, moving on. Rich set a fire. And it burned down the house. Ah. Rich set a fire in the forest, which mutated into a monstrous water beast, then went off to get food. <laughs> okay, there's so much happening here, because first off, Rich is in the forest now. Why, why are you setting a fire in the forest, bro? And then the fire turns into a water beast, and then upon being spontaneously mutated, this water beast then decides to just go get food. Me frickin' too, buddy. Not only did he do that, but he also visited the bandit camps, which was apparently some kind of dreaded local battle event. Not only did he visit this place, which was full of guards, but even then he was noticed by the ninja, who literally took off their cloaks to see his ten- oh, okay, oh, okay. To which we now know that it was a pain in the ass to sneak around the entire camp with, with a single piece of wood, so it was extremely weird that he just showed- uh, oh? Uh, uh, okay. Honestly, I'm mildly intrigued to whatever else the AI would generate for this, because it's pretty chaotic, and I, in a good way. After that, it goes straight to the, I believe, the pitiful children. It just goes straight into that. Let's save pitiful children. 
The pitiful children, my brothers and sisters, wanted to come to school every day, but I couldn't let them do that. I had to attend to their needs. Don't they have a need for education? I made a commitment, a commitment to them, a true one, that my existence was not for pleasure, but for need. J Jabir? I don't know how- I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Jabir said he received six months in prison for a lack of evidence and was released on bail. He agreed to seek help for his chronic obesity and says he has put on 50 pounds. The man who once leaned against a wall in his home and snacked on peanuts is now among the 53. He's among the 53. He, he's just, he's, he's among them. What are the 53? We don't know. It, it's, it's, it's the pants song. The pants song. This is the dumbest song in the soundtrack, and I love it. The pant song he recites on his encore each night at club show, Sting Pants Dance Move in Mind, marks that strange progression that he ultimately makes in his live act that leaves nothing to the imagination and offers one of the most surprising moments in music history. The band turned their attention back to the discerning classic rock fan by giving them the whole shebang and the power ballad-inspired closer, Ain't It Fun to Be Numb. Is that, is that just like... Uh, the, uh, the alternate name of Freeze Your Brain <laughs> from Heathers. Ain't It Fun to Be Numb features a speedy guitar part and fun lyrics from George Harrison, who ironically is quoted by the song's title. Oh, okay. I, I don't know if any of this really made sense, but it was, it was vaguely coherent. Um, then they just have, I think after that it's just the play, there isn't any more songs. And then it's the voices in my head. The play goes to show how wrong a critic of a single person can be, that it can be quite useful to be able to see many people as individuals, not merely as the guy who committed the murder. The writer, Xander Roth, of this particular play, who visits America from London, is in the throes of a breakup. He feels he has let his wife down. In America, he seeks a new pastor named Wilbur, Wilbur, breathingly funny, here for a start. It was also a surprise to see him as angry as he is. Wilbur. We'll never know what Wilbur did. Voices in my head. I, like, hated this song originally, but it's really grown on me in recent times. Voices in my head. There's a lot going on. If you can't help it, you have to stop and listen. One by one, as each fog closes in on you until there's nothing left, left to do. I feel no need to feel. The wind you scream with each sweet cry does not stir. And the storm that smiles and warms you, you can't save it. Deaths. Okay, but this, this is actually, like, really cool and well-written, at least until the deaths. So, there's that. Anyway, thank you for tuning into whatever the heck this was. Um, Abby, I will see you on Friday.